All right, everyone, buckle up, because today we are diving headfirst into the world of the Citroen Ami. And this is not your average electric car. Mm, no, no. This one is way more interesting than your average electric car. This one is smaller, it's quirkier, it's... French. Yeah, it's French. You know what I'm saying. It's got that certain je ne sais quoi. So if you've got questions like, is it a car? Is it a golf cart? Is it like... The future of transportation. He's got answers. We are going to unpack the AMI's design, its specs, and why it's making everyone rethink city transportation. So for those who don't know, the AMI hit the streets back in 2020. Yeah. But it actually started as a concept car. Mm -hmm. Remember that super cool AMI one they showed off at the Geneva Motor Show? Oh, yeah. And it's, it's amazing how close they stuck to the concept. Yeah. Like, Citroen had this vision, right? Make it affordable, sustainable, perfect for city life. And they just went for it. No hesitation. And when you say affordable, uh, are we talking like cheaper than a used scooter affordable? Okay. No, I'm all about that city living budget. Okay, so you might actually be surprised. It is way cheaper than most new cars, even some used ones. We're talking about a price that, for a lot of people living in cities, could make owning a car possible when they thought they never could. Okay, now that's huge. But it's not just about being easy on the wallet, right? Yeah. So tell me more about this whole sustainability thing. Well, first of all, it's electric, obviously. But it's also about its size and design. I mean, because it's so small and efficient, it takes a lot less resources to make. Okay, so we've got eco-conscious and budget-friendly. City dwellers are going to eat this up. <laughs> yeah. But here's the real kicker, okay? In yeah. some countries... You can drive this thing at 14. Yeah. 14. I mean, you could be cruising around 14. 14. Well, you're still in high school. Yeah, it's wild. They classify it as a light quadricycle in some parts of Europe, which honestly opens up a lot of interesting possibilities. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, but before we get too far ahead of ourselves. Let's talk size. You mentioned it was small. Yeah. How small are we talking? Paint me a picture. Okay, picture this. It's shorter than some couches. I am not kidding. No way. I'm serious. It's under eight feet long and a little over four feet wide. You weren't kidding. Forget parallel parking. I could probably fit this thing in my living room. And it only weighs about a thousand pounds battery and all. So yeah, it's super lightweight. Mm. Okay, so maybe not the best for a cross-country road trip. Probably not. But for zipping around the city. Oh, yeah, it's perfect for that. That lightweight design really boosts its efficiency for city driving. Which makes sense. Because when we're talking city driving, range is key. So how far can this little guy go on a single charge? You can get about 43 miles on a single charge. But remember, it's made for those shorter trips, like running errands, commuting, you know, just getting from point A to point B within the city. Okay, so basically all my usual driving, I'm sold. But what about charging time? Because I've got to know, can I plug this thing into a regular outlet or do I need like a special charging station? Because if I need a special charging station, it's going to be a no from me. No, no, you're totally fine. It plugs into a normal outlet. And it only takes about three hours to fully charge. Three hours. Okay, so I come home, I plug it in, I make dinner, I eat dinner, I'm ready to go. Exactly. See, now that's convenient. But we can't talk about the Ami. Without addressing the elephant, or should I say the tortoise in the room? This thing has a top speed of 28 miles per hour. Well, yeah. 28. That's the thing, though. It's intentional. Citroen designed the Ami specifically for cities where speed limits are lower anyway, and there's always traffic. So it's less about winning races and more about not getting stuck in them. Exactly. It's all about navigating the urban jungle efficiently and sustainably. Okay, so maybe I won't be setting any speed records. But hey, at least I'll be the one with a smile on my face when I cruise right past the gas station. Okay, so we've talked about how efficient and sustainable this little car is. But we haven't talked about, like, the elephant in the room, which is the design. Because let's be real. It's unique. It's definitely unique. It's like they took the rule book for car design, threw it out the window, and... Speaking of windows, I bet the windows on this thing roll down differently too, don't they? Speaking of things that are different, remember we were talking about those doors? Oh, how could I forget those doors? Those suicide doors. Yeah, the suicide doors. Not every day you see a car with doors like that. Okay, but there's got to be a reason for it. It can't just be a shock value, right? Well, first of all, it's cheaper to make. Because they can use all the same parts on both sides. Makes things way simpler. So it's like they applied that whole life hack of if you can do something twice, might as well do it at the same time to car manufacturing. Exactly. And it's not just about saving money, though. Think about it. When you're in a city trying to parallel park 
in those tiny spots, being able to just swing those doors open. Makes it so much easier to get in and out. That's a good point. It's practical and stylish. Right. See, I told you. Okay, I'm almost convinced. Yes. Okay, okay, how about this? The front and the back of the car look almost the same. They're symmetrical. Another way to keep costs down. Wait, so they only had to design one end of the car? Pretty much. Genius. It's like the ultimate minimalist vehicle. I And it's not just the exterior. The interior is designed the same way. It's all about simplicity. So functional. Exactly. I love these deep dives. We learn so much. It's not just a car. It's like a philosophy, you know? Totally. But they didn't just stop at the regular Ami, right? There are all these other versions now. Oh, yeah. You're talking about the Ami Cargo. Yeah, the Ami Cargo. What's the deal with that one? So they unveiled that one back in 2021. Basically, they just took out the passenger seat and turned it into a cargo area. So I'm imagining, like, you're a small business owner. Mm. Maybe you're, like, delivering stuff all over the city. Yeah. Fuel costs are through the roof. This thing must feel like a dream come true. It's perfect for deliveries. Especially if you need to get down narrow streets or into tight parking spots. And I bet that cargo hold can fit a surprising amount of stuff. It's like having a little mini delivery van. Exactly. But they didn't just stop with the cargo version, no. did they? No, they did not stop there. Tell me more, tell me more. They released the Ami Pop and the Ami Vibe in 2022. And they're going for a totally different vibe with those. So they took a unique design and decided to make it even more unique. Yeah, pretty much. I love it. Okay, so break it down for me. Ami Pop versus Ami Vibe. Okay, so the Pop. That's the one you want if you want to make a statement. Think bright colors. Bold graphics. Okay, that's the one I would go for. Cruising around, turning heads. It'd be great. Yeah. What about the vibe? The vibe is a little more rugged. It's got the roof rails, colored wheel arches. I mean, it's for that outdoorsy type. Okay, so they've got something for everyone. They really do. But why do you think the Ami is having such a moment, you know? I think it's because it's more than just a car. I think it represents something bigger, you know? It's about the future of transportation, especially in cities. Yeah, like how are we supposed to deal with all the traffic and pollution? Exactly. And we can't forget about climate change. All of that. The Ami feels like a step in the right direction, you know? It's a small car, but with a big message. You know, it's like they took that European city vibe, all those charming little streets and cafes. Yeah, yeah. And they were like, how do we bottle this? Exactly. And make it street legal. Put some wheels on it. Yes. Okay, but we've been geeking out about all the cool design stuff. But I want to get back to what this means for cities. How does a car like this fit into that bigger picture? Well, cities are changing, right? Think about it. More traffic, less parking, and we haven't even talked about the pollution. Yeah, it's getting rough out there. Owning a car in the city. It's becoming a liability. Oh. Okay, so where does the Ami come in? Imagine this for a second, yeah. Streets that aren't totally choked with traffic, the air is cleaner, your commute is quieter. The Ami's made for that. It's like a breath of fresh air. Right. But with, like, four wheels. Exactly. It's like that saying, think globally, act locally. Right. Right. But way cuter. Right. Way cuter. Yeah. And, you know, not everyone's going to be on board with this whole 28 miles per hour top speed thing. But in a city, let's be real. When was the last time you actually got to go that fast anyway? Exactly. You're just stuck in traffic. Right. So what's the point, really? Exactly. This is about changing how we think about cars, about what we need them for. And I've got to say... I read this one article where a journalist described riding in the Ami. Like being inside a Lego brick. Oh, yeah, I saw that one. And honestly, that sounds kind of amazing. I mean, it's different, that's for sure. Yeah. Not everyone's going to love it, that's for sure. It's not for everyone. But it's starting a conversation, and I think that's really important. It is. It makes people stop and think, okay, wait a minute. Do we have to do things the way we've always done them? Exactly. So as we wrap up our deep dive into the world of the Citroen Ami. What are we taking away from all of this? I think for me, the Ami, it's like statement, you know? Like, what if we tried something different? What if we actually did things differently? Especially now, when we need to try something different. Exactly. Yeah. We need different. We can't keep doing things the way we've always done them and expecting different results. It's not just about getting to work. It's about what that journey looks like. Exactly. It can be fun. It Let's can stand. be sustainable. It can be all of that. And, you know, maybe a little rebellious, too. Oh, definitely. A little bit of, like, we're not going to play by the rules anymore yeah. because the rules aren't working. Exactly. Okay, so the big question. Is the Citroenami the future of transportation? I don't know if I have the answer to that. But it's a start. 
And people are talking about it. And that's what matters. Yeah. So for all of you listening out there. Imagine a world where cities are filled with these little cars. Zipping around, no noise, no pollution. It's a nice thought. It is a nice thought, right? Something to think about. All right, everyone. That's it for our deep dive on the Citroen Ami. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Citroen Ami, a quirky electric quadricycle. The Citroen Ami, a compact, battery-powered quadricycle, made its debut in 2020. This unique vehicle pays homage to the original Citroen Ami, produced from 1961 to 1978, while embracing modern electric technology. Design and Development Designed by Pierre Leclerc, Exterior, and Jean-Arthur Madeleine, Interior, the Amy is a departure from traditional car design. Its symmetrical design, featuring nearly identical front and rear doors, and interchangeable front and rear bumpers, gives it a distinctive look. The Amy was initially showcased as the Amy 1 concept car at the Geneva Motor Show in 2019 before entering production. Developed by Group PSA, now Stellantis, and Altran, the Amy is manufactured in Canitra, Morocco. Technical Specifications The Amy is equipped with a front-mounted electric motor that delivers 6 kilowatts, 8.0 horsepower, of power. It has a top speed of 45 kilometers per hour, 28 miles per hour, limited due to its quadricycle classification. The vehicle features front-wheel drive and a minimalist interior, relying on a smartphone-based infotainment system and a cylindrical Bluetooth speaker for audio. Variants and Updates Citroen has introduced several variants and updates to the Amy since its launch. The My Amy Buggy, a limited edition of 50 units, was released in June 2022. A second-generation Amy Buggy, with a production run of 1,000 units, was launched in May 2023 for Europe, Turkey, and Morocco. In November 2023, the Amy Pop Trim was introduced, featuring cosmetic enhancements. The latest update for 2024 includes a new color, night sepia, and minor interior changes. Market Positioning The Citroen Amy is primarily targeted towards individuals in France who were born before 1988 or those aged 14 and older with an AM license, allowing them to drive the vehicle without a full driving license. Citroen offers various options for acquiring an Amy, including car sharing through the free two-move network, rental, or outright purchase. The vehicle is available through online channels, Fnac and Darty stores, and Citroen dealerships. Reception The MS diminutive size has garnered attention, with one journalist from The Telegraph comparing the experience of being inside to being inside a Lego brick. Its unique design and practical features have positioned the Amy as a distinctive and innovative option for urban.
This. The Citroen Amy, a small but mighty electric vehicle that's revolutionizing urban transportation. With its quirky design, affordable price tag, and eco-friendly credentials, the Amy is proving that cars don't need to be big, fast, or expensive to be useful. As we look towards the future of automotive design, the Citroen Amy stands as a testament to the potential of innovative and sustainable solutions. So whether you're a lover of classic cars or a fan of cutting-edge technology, the Amy is a vehicle that's sure to capture your imagination. Subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos on automotive legends and classic car stories.